welcome back to the Mighty Blues. My name is of course Cameron and welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be playing a little bit of FIFA 19. I did hint that we'll be playing it in Monday's video. I hope you enjoyed Monday's preview. By the way, I hope you're enjoying all the new green screen stuff with the new background. I've got a couple more backgrounds as well um, to play about with. Um, I will probably use a different one in Friday's video. Sorry, I'm not using the green screen today. The reason for that is because it's absolutely massive and basically my room is quite small. So where I sit to play FIFA, it wouldn't sort of work in the background and obviously where the lights would need to go and stuff like that. So I'm trying to find a way. Uh, to make that work so that we can use it in the FIFA episodes as well. I'm also still to uh, sort out the sound issue so that you guys can hear the game sound as well. Uh, I promise by the next episode I'll have that sorted for you so you'll be able to hear, you know, the commentators and Matt and Tyler if you wish. So jumping straight into this video, you can see there that a couple of the players, or a few of the players, sorry, are going on an international duty. We're going to jump straight in to this game. We've got Huddersfield um, at home. I'm going to change the squad up a little bit because I did say towards the end of the last episode I was not impressed by um, Lozano in the Manchester City game. You know, as you, as you know, we um, by the last episode we played Manchester City in the Carabao Cup. We uh, were beaten, I think it's fair to say. We were beaten quite heavily. Um, it was the first game that we put up to Ultimate Difficulty. So we're going to carry on on Ultimate Difficulty, but we're just going to make a couple of changes. We're going to bring Lozano out, give him a rest for now. We're also going to start with Seamus Coleman rather than sort of wan Basahu because I think he struggled as well a little bit. I do apologise if I seem a little bit lackadaisical or less sort of upbeat. I've literally just got back from playing five a football. Um, and put it this way, I'm no Andre Gomez, um, but you know, whatever. It is what it is, and I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Basically, me and the lads play football for the first time in about 10 bloody years, something stupid, not 10 years. About 10 months against the team that play every week, and we got hammered. We got absolutely embarrassed, but we also got kicked up in the air with the referee not giving a decision. So, I guess what you can take from that is even at the lowest, lowest levels of football, the referees are still absolutely awful. But, less of that anyway, that's got nothing to do. I wasn't in goal, so I didn't use my hands, so there's no excuses for this game. We're going into this game, Huddersfield at home, one of the, you know, the poorer sides in the Premier League. So, hopefully, we should be able to get the three points even on the ultimate difficulty. Um, let's hope anyway. If not, if we struggle on this, then I will look at maybe pushing it back down or, you know, uh, a comment in the previous video I mentioned messing about with the sliders and I, I mentioned that I didn't really like doing that because, you know, I don't want to cock it up too much to the point where it's too easy or it's too difficult, but I might have a look at that as well if, you know, stepping back down is, is, is too easy and, you know, we can't carry on playing at this level. So we'll see how we get on in this game first. We kick off. Of course, Cenk Tosin starting this game, going for a 4-4-2. Theo Walcott coming back in, doing well there. It's a good ball through. Jesus back to Cenk Tosin. Cenk Tosin back into Walcott. He cuts in. Can he get a goal? No. Unlucky. A first shot on target, though. It's more than um, Lozano has done the last couple of games. Richarlison has it out to Dean. Dean with a good ball in, and it's deflected, and it's out for a corner kick. I'm going to put it there. I didn't mean to put it there. Oh, awful. I meant to put it on uh, Andre Gomez, but it went just a little bit too far. But he's got it back now. You can turn. He's actually got a shot and a half on him in this game, Andre Gomez. But it's out to Gabriel Jesus, who can cut back in. It's a Rabona cross that I didn't mean. Big Cheng Tosin is in the area, but it doesn't quite get to him. Lucas Dean's going to have it out. It's a good ball to Idrissa Garnage. Back to Dean. It's good football by the Blues here. Back to Richarlison, who can cut in. Strong ball in. Cheng Tosin's in the area. And what a header. It is 1-0. To Everton, Cheng Tosin coming back into the team after he was dropped. I'll admit it, I dropped him to play Gabriel Jesus up front on his own, and he's just probably shown there why he should play every week. What a finish by Cheng Tosin, such a strong get there, in off the bar, and the Blues are 1 0 up at Goodison Park against Huddersfield. Obviously, we still haven't lost. A Premier League game was still undefeated in the Premier League. That loss to Manchester City, like I mentioned before, was in the Carabao Cup. So hopefully we can carry on that form um, and, you know, on the ultimate difficulty and <clears throat> play a couple of more games against the easier sides on it before then going into playing, you know, one of the top teams. Because we probably played the best team in the Premier League on the hardest difficulty and we did get beat. But Walkoff is coming up now. who just takes a little bit of a heavy touch and starts to do too much, but it's looking positive by the Blues again, Tosin comes out for the ball, 
He collects it. Walcott just can't make it. Seamus Coleman starts to go back into Walcott. It is offside, but I think they're going to play on. Saying Tosham pressure in here, high. A lot like Everton do in real life. Very, um, very attacking, high pressed football. Something that we've seen a lot of from Marco Silva this season. It's fantastic to see. I'm not saying I'm anything like Marco Silva on FIFA, but you know, the team must be set up to do that. I also want to have a little look at the, the custom tactics and things like that around the game because I know there's a, a lot you can do with the game now. I've been playing FIFA career mode since about FIFA. 13, FIFA 12, when you literally couldn't do anything except pick a start and 11, sort of. Um, <clears throat> and because not much has changed gameplay wise and stuff like that, the custom tactics and all of that have sort of just flew over my head. I haven't really took much notice of them, so I do need to sit down and, and have a little look at them and see how they work. And maybe we can get some tactics, you know, for certain players to, to press up or certain players to, you know, play ahead of each other. So maybe we can get a, a little advantage and maybe that'll help against. The big teams, who knows, Huddersfield have got a corner here, has to be defended well, and it is by big Kurt Zuma. And I'm also going to look at putting Michael Keane in as well, I think, because for me, he hasn't had enough game time on this FIFA career, and he's been fantastic in real life, so we'll give him a go. Andre Gomez with a strong header, it's Cheng Tosin down to Jesus. Uh, oh, sorry, it was Jesus down to Cheng Tosin. Huddersfield have it back now, and they're playing in the midfield. Everton started the game well, you know. Would have liked to maybe have had a few more chances on goal. Huddersfield are consoling the ball in the midfield now. But we've started the game well. No complaints so far. Other than that one that I've just made. Which makes no sense. But, you know, we'll, we'll skip over that. If one near to the box. Got to be careful. Big tackle by Theo Walcott. Hey, I tell you what. If Theo Walcott... I know it's only sort of half an hour into the fit, his first game back. But if he carries on like this. He will keep Lozano out this team. I'm telling you. Richarlison bursting down. The wing and he's going to put it back into Jesus. You can have a strike and it's a good strike. Top save by um, the keeper there. Alex Pritchard is it? Oh no, it's not Alex Pritchard. He, he plays um, outfield. I, I'm not too sure who's in goal but it was a, it was a top save. Corner kick, co corner kick comes in, sorry. And it's wasted. Huddersfield now have it out. Moy in the midfield. Passes it to Alex Pritchard course isn't playing in goal that was a mistake on my part Andre Gomez needs to come over and clear it's a good ball in and it's a goal but it's offside rightly called offside there by the assistant referee uh, too easy for me to get through there too easy for them to get through sorry for my liking and um, but it was offside in the end come on Andre Gomez skipping past it maybe that was my fault for it Jimmy knows Huddersfield have got the ball again they're pressuring in they're pressuring in but yet he mean it has to come across surely it's out by Kurt Zuman it is and Theo Walcott can break now Let's see what you can do, Theo. Come on. Still not done quite enough to prove that you should be in this team week in, week out. It's a good ball to Tossum. Tossum does well on shaking his man off. My nose is incredibly itchy, so I do apologise. Big Yenny Mina needs to come over and cover here for Seamus Coleman, who's being caught out. He does well. Kurt Zuman, I said, out Coleman can have it back into a Disagana Gay. A Disagana Gay now. Spreading the ball. Absolutely fantastic play by the midfielder. Gabriel Jesus has got it. Can he cut inside? Oh, he just tries the through ball in. It doesn't quite work. Coming up to half time here. Looks like Everton are going to go in 1 0 at the break. Hopefully, anyway. It's been a good game so far. Let's say in that. Let's make sure Huddersfield don't break away and score here. It's a good ball in. It's easy dealt with by Seamus Combe. He gives it back, straight back. And it's out for a corner. The last kick of the half for Huddersfield. They've got a corner kick. Let's hope we can defend this well. Big header out by Theo Walcott. Defensive work. Come on, don't let that go for another corner, Seamus. Big, 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 big interception there. And it's 1-0 at half time. The Blues looking comfortable so far. Let's hope that we can carry this on into the second half and get the all-important three points. So we're back for the second half. Huddersfield kick off still. 1-0 to the Blues. Looking comfortable so far in this game. Hopefully we can see it out. And not do anything silly now. Andre Gomez in in the midfield. Been fantastic so far this season. Definitely somebody that I'm going to look to purchase uh, on a permanent deal as soon as we get the opportunity to. Here he comes again bursting down. Might not have the pace, but he's down. Chen Tosin, who can find Theo Walcott, who can steam down. Theo's going to switch the play to Richarlison. Just unlucky that it just doesn't get there. Maybe could have done with... Um, 
spreading it a little bit further down the wing Theo Walcott before he attempted that ball but it doesn't matter it's still you know safe we've still got the lead no no complaints still comfortable so far Big Kurt Jr has to come over he doesn't cover he doesn't cover at all it's luckily enough that others feel don't have any real quality in the final third to make the most of that opportunity but that was not good enough by K2 and he got through too easily there oh it's fantastic by Richarlison I was literally about to say how is that not a foul quickly by Richarlison Andre Gomez poor ball there Ghana Gay Jesus has it out Richarlison can cut back in can he play a good ball in it's a poor ball in Andre Gomez can't console it and now Huddersfield will break we should have enough men back here to deal with this they go back and it's a good play by the Blues to force them backwards there still got the ball however it's a good ball through, he's got the better of Yeri Mina, he crosses it in, Jordan Pickford's going to come and collect and he's seen Richarlison all the way out there and he's played the ball, Richarlison now oh, just can't get past his man, struggling strength wise, I wonder if there's a little bit of fatigue going on in the uh, the squad so far, might have to make a look to make a substitution, sorry, some players maybe tiring a little bit, it's a good ball through, it's a vital touch by Yeri Mina to Oh, get it out, get it out, get it out. And it's a big header by Seamus Coleman as well. Two vital piece, pieces of defensive work there. But again, it's clutching at straws. Again, Huddersfield are getting close. And again, they may take one of these opportunities before the final whistle. They've got another corner kick here. Let's hope we can deal with this appropriately. Come on, Blues. Have it out. Big header by Andre Gomez. And we'll push out, push out. Come on, Blues. Play the offside stop. Come on. Oh, just can't get the ball through there. Everton now. Lucas Dean with it. It's a good ball through to Richarlison. Can he break? He's looking for the overlap and run by Theo Walcott. Doesn't quite find the ball though. Never mind. Get back on it. Might make a substitution in a little minute. In fact, I will make one now. Um, who can I replace? You know what? I'm going to bring Lozano on. I'm going to give him the opportunity. Theo Walcott appeared to be tiring there. Has played very well and will definitely be in the start 11 for me in the next game. Um, given that, you know, well, as long as Lozano doesn't come on and have an absolute worldie and score some stupidly unbelievable goals, Theo Walcott, I think, has got that place for now. Garnage has it out in the midfield. It's a good ball. And Andre Gomez now, and he can spread it. To that man, Lozano. Can Lozano make the most of his opportunity after being dropped? He certainly can. And it's 2-0 to the Blues at Goodison Park. Maybe that is what he needed. Maybe he loves the fans. He does absolutely love the fans. Maybe he just needed a, a, you know, a 60-minute spell out the team, out the limelight, where the fans were sort of on his back. Is he good enough? Is he not? And he's come back in there and pretty much with his first touch of the ball in this game, he's put it in the back of the net it's given me a headache it's a good headache but you know it's good options to have we've took him out the team brought Theo Walcott in who's played well but at the end of the day Lozano's come on and he's put the ball in the back of the net Andre Gomez now he's running again he looks like he wants it this time and he's got the ball again and he's gonna go again Lozano he's gonna tie it from outside the box he doesn't quite have the skill that's a foul penalty kick penalty kick to the Blues, a foul given away there in the box on Gabriel Jesus. Is it going to be anything more? A yellow maybe, possibly. A red? No, never in a million years is it going to be anything other than that. Gabriel Jesus is set to take this. I'm actually... I'm going to go with this man, Andre Gomez, because he's cool as anything. And we're going to go for him. I've got the uh, target on. I should probably turn that off, but Andre Gomez is going to go for it. And it's 3-0, a cool, calm, collected penalty. I'm not going to lie, I do sort of want to see Andre Gomez score for Everton in real life. So that was literally why I put him on the penalty, just because, you know, we haven't seen him score so far. And it was nice to see. But 3-0 to the Blues, two goals in quick succession. Lozano again having a big part in that goal, breaking down the wing and, you know, a little bobble in the ball. Is in the, in the centre of the area and Gabriel Jesus is taken down and it's a penalty. Andre Gomez converts 3 0 to the Blues. Game over now. Might have a look at bringing on Onya Koru for a little brief spell. Lozano does well there. I tell you what, Cheng Tolson today has been very, very good as well. Might have to think about keeping the sort of 4 4 2 formation. I tell you what, we're going to do. We're going to bring Bernard on. Bernard on, sorry. 
in the centre of the pitch and on your Corey one for Richarlison. Give them a little bit of a break. Andre Gomez has played fantastic today. Richarlison's had a good game as well, so we'll give them a little bit of a rest. Oh, hopefully he doesn't get sent off for that. <laughs> Huddersfield down the wing here, Big Yeri Mina just gets past them there, can they get a consolation, and they do, it's 3-1, a consolation goal at most I believe, um, good header though, probably should have been defended a little bit better by us, let's hope we can keep it tight now, and see out the three points, come on Blues, come on, don't lose it there, have it back in the midfield, Bernard. come on Blues, <coughs> Yeri Mina get back in possession lad, don't be caught out, big tackle. Big tackle by Captain Seamus Coleman. It's down the wing now. It's an audacious effort, to be fair. It's an audacious volley, cross, shot. I don't quite know what that was from the left-hand side there. It's a big, big ball in. Keeper's got the ball. And that is it. Full, oh. No, it's not. It's a foul. Thought it was full-time there, but it's not. It's a free kick to Everton. And the ball comes through to Zissagana Gay. Gabriel Jesus now to Bernard. Can Bernard hit them? Oh, just wide of the post. Just a little bit unlucky there. Cheng Tosin. Quick to his man there. Quick to his man. Fantastic play by Cheng Tosin. You know, 3-1 up at home in the, in the last minute. And he's running to the first man to make sure the keeper can't play a quick pass. Bernard, fantastic play. Garner Gay can slide it in to that man, Cheng Tosin now. He's going to play a dirty one to Jesus and he finishes and he solidifies the victory if it wasn't solidified anyway. A little bit of a, uh, what they used to call back in the day, a sweaty goal. But it doesn't matter, you need all the goals in the world on FIFA, especially if you're playing at a top difficulty because, you know, goal difference may come into it. And is that it? That is it. The full-time whistle has gone. Everton have beaten... Huddersfield Town by four goals to one at Goodison Park. A top performance off the back of a disappointing cup performance. Back to win and ways. Still unbeaten in the Premier League, may I say. Still won every single game in the Premier League. Fantastic display by the likes of Cenk Tosin, Gabriel Jesus, Andre Gomez, Theo Walcott and then Lozano getting on the score sheet when he comes on. The rating has gone up. 2 and 86 there, a brilliant victory for the Blues and let's hope we can carry on this form into our next game. So I've had the international break, now the boys are back from their international duties. We'll now play West Ham United at home. Hopefully we can get another three points on the board. I've just looked at the Premier League table there as Gabriel Jesus grabs player of the month and look who is top of the league it wouldn't be anybody else would it it literally wouldn't be anybody else they have played an extra game than us they got a draw in that game so if we can get three points against west ham we will go above them um, and be top of the league and you know that is exactly what we want we want to be top of the league anyway but if we can overtake liverpool to do it then that is even better four games played four wins 11 goals for and only one goal against and that was that goal in the Huddersfield game so the rating's gone down again I don't know why I don't know what the situation is with that but the next game we've got West Ham at home I'll be playing that in the next episode hopefully we can carry on our winning ways and you know get another three points on the board and start to look like real title contenders this season so thank you very much for watching this episode if you have enjoyed please do leave a like big 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 thank you for all the support recently everybody that's watched commented, subscribed, liked the videos, thank you so much. Also, anybody that's followed us over on our Twitter, our Twitter has been going mad recently as well, so thank you very much for that. Like I said, in between now and the next episode, I'll try and sort a way out to sort of get the green screen integrated into um, the episode if you'd like that. I'll also try and figure out how to sort this sound issue out, um, because if I play the sound through the speakers, it'll catch it on the, the recording software, but it'll also catch it through the microphone and the camera as well, so there's a little bit of an echo, but I'll try and sort that out as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do leave a like. I will be uploading a quarterly third seasonly review sort of season review sorry so far we've just gone over a quarter of the season nearly a third into the way 
uh, into the way through Marco Silva's first season as Everton boss. So I'll be briefly reviewing all the games, his tactics, how I believe um, we've played so far this season in terms of styles of play, how the new signings have done, um, how we're doing against the big teams away from home sort of. Um, so that'll be a big video hopefully coming on Friday if everything goes well. But thank you very much for watching this episode of the FIFA 19 career mode. Like I said I'll have another one of these out in the next sort of few days to a week. If you have enjoyed please do leave a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and you are enjoying the content and you love the Mighty Blues. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter as well for all updates on Everton Football Club. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon on the Mighty Blues.